We're live outside Party Police Station where we're waiting on Superintendent Sloan to come out. We're hoping to get the exclusive on the official police line as to the supposed super-powered vigilante. Superintendent Sloan, Superintendent Sloan, is it true that there's a superhero in this city? Look, there's no vigilante with magic powers. There's no such thing as a superhero. It's a rumour, a myth. Nothing more. Hello, my name is Fraser Cool, and I am the writer and director of Nighty's Day, the movie. Um, I've decided to do a little retrospective um, weekly on how we made the movie. Um, whether that means me jumping on this camera and talking to you about you know when we did it, or I've, I'm just going to upload one a week the original kind of behind the scenes that John McCall did, but I'm going to pepper in some bits that we haven't released before. Because the film itself is now... 12 years old, which is crazy, which means we shot it 14 years ago, and it was our first ever short, uh, no, it was not short, it was our first ever feature film, and it just, the Nighty's Day world just means, like, the world to me, because it started as a short film when I left college in 2005, then it was a web series for two seasons from, like, 2006 until 2009, and then I decided that I wanted to finish this story, so we ended up doing Nighty's Day, the movie, and we started shooting it in 2010, all the way to 2012 like we finished we shot for five weeks and then there was all the post-production because uh, we didn't have any money <laughs> so um we had in-kind money from andrew dougal and um, who helped us with equipment and whatnot uh, and locations whenever we needed a location that we couldn't get in for for free so what i want to do is just do a little retrospective on how we did that because the film is now on tubi it's now on amazon and it's on plex and it's on something called Fossum TV. So, in the off chance that somebody watches the film and Googles it or goes on YouTube, they might find this little retrospective and get a little bit more understanding and just the hard work that went into it from the extremely hard working cast and crew over the five weekends plus post post production. Um, and maybe get a little bit of an understanding of, of how it all kind of came together. And I'm also hoping that it might inspire people to go make their own films or go make their own TV shows or web series or audio dramas or shorts or whatever. I just want people to go out there and make stuff. I want you to find your filmmaking family um, and hold them tight and go make a film or and just go experience that. If, if that is something that you have a passion for, go do it. Get a thick skin because people are going to be mean on the internet but you know what, how good your stuff is and go out there and go do it. Um, especially in Scotland, like we have such a small industry, some might say no industry, um, and we're all doing our own thing and it's great to see that people are making their own stuff. Like, it's a filmmaker that I know of and he made his horror film years ago and it sat on his desk and it was never finished and then he finally got it finished and he got it out in the world and now you can watch it on Amazon. So it's great, it's amazing, like go do that. Like, go make your films, go tell your stories. Um, I hope that from this you'll learn a little bit and maybe some hot shot producer might go, I like the idea of a Scottish superhero, let's go make that again and give me some money and we'll go do it again and I'll get another director and who's not me. Someone who wants to direct. Um, so yeah, um, I hope you enjoy this little retrospective. You've seen the trailer um, and we're going to kick it over to the edition process um, a little behind the scenes on there and then we shot some test footage to see how the film is going to look with some of the actors and um, in, the, in the final film it's John Gaffney as uh, Sloan who's kind of leading the investigation but I think John Gaffney was busy that day um, he's having his, his hair done um, so it was Steve McEwen who plays Mullen who stepped in and it was um, Claire uh, who was playing Rebecca Monroe um, and we had Kenny Boyle Kenny Boyle, who hunted me on Facebook and annoyed me until I gave my part in this film, and we did. Um, and history was born. And then Kenny went on to be in my web series, Cops and Monsters. Anywho, that's a digression. So we're going to show you a little bit of that, a little bit of this. Um, and then one week, we're going to upload the original behind the scenes of Night is Day Confidential. Um, but I'm going to pepper in some stuff that you hadn't seen before. Like, I've, I've unearthed things that... Um, 
well doing this I've, I've unearthed some like radio interviews and some behind the scenes stuff that I haven't been out in the world um, and I think it's, it'll be nice to kind of share that and it also immortalises it like Night is Day Dusk, um, the original short film, is lost. Like, I have a corrupted AVI file of that, and the sound works, but not the video. I do not have a copy of my very own first short film. Um, unless someone out there has it, <laughs> in which case, please get in touch with me uh, at contact at sillybefilms.co.uk and uh, help me, help me find my short film. Because that's coming up to a big anniversary, that's going to be 20 years old um, next year and I don't have it, and that makes me really sad. So, trying to do a bit of um, future-proofing, get this up on, on the old YouTube, and hopefully you enjoy what you're seeing. Hopefully you might watch this and go, hey, I'm gonna go watch your movie. And if you do, please leave a nice review. It helps. Um, and if you've found this through watching the movie, then I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you left a nice review. So, um, yeah, enjoy. That's all I have to say. Thanks so much. <laughs> Uh, hello, I'm Fraser, I'm the writing director of Night's Day, the movie. Um, we're here today at M8 Media Studios in Glasgow, auditioning about 60 odd people, and so far it's been mad. Um, hopefully we'll have our cast in place next week, and I cannot wait to get started. So I'm going to introduce you to some of our cast and crew. First up is Lindsay. Hi, I'm Lindsay Dill. I'm Gavin Orr. And we are producing the feature film of Night's Day. What are you looking forward to? Are you interviewing me? Right, what no, are you looking no. forward to? Uh, well, I mean, the fact that this is based in Scotland and uh, you know, it's a chance to uh, you know, touch base with my, my sci-fi roots, which I know, uh, you know drives you up a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, I'm looking forward to that and, you know, the fact that it's got superheroes and it's just a chance to you know, and enjoy working on the movie. I hear the director's okay. I think so, yeah. yeah. The crew have been fantastic so far, we've met them, and uh, the thing I'm looking forward to the most is, obviously, I've never worked on a feature film either before. Mm -hmm. We've done a lot of work together in the past, so we've got a long history. A lot, a lot too long. It feels like we've known each other for about a thousand years. Yeah. yeah. Um, but we've never done a film, so this is a first for both of us, but I'm looking forward to spending the summer um, working with the crew and the cast, because so far it's been fun. And like I always say, if you've got a good crew, then it doesn't feel like work. So I think we're all going to have a really good summer. And I'm looking forward to getting my teeth into it. Mm, what do you think of the director? I think he's awesome. Yeah. He's not bad. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, I'm Lindsay, and I'm the production assistant for Night is Day the Movie. Uh, I'm new to this crew, and so far it's great. Hi, I'm Dougie, I'm the guy that takes the photos to keep Fraser and uh, everyone else as happy as I can. And um, I upload all the photographs onto the website and try and make everyone look as best as I can. Hey, uh, I'm Simon Ferguson, I'm the cameraman. Um, I'm kind of new on the, on the scene, only worked on the feature film, um, but I'm a fan of season one and two. Um, I think it's great, so um, yeah. Hi, I'm Steve McCune. I play DCI Mullen in the uh, Night's Day of the Movie. And it's kind of fallen on from the, uh, the web series, which I've been involved in uh, both series. So kind of from the start, the longest it's the anyway, I was involved in the little short film at the beginning, but we'll, we'll not go there. But yeah, so I've enjoyed every minute of it and uh, looking forward to getting this uh, feature film underway. Uh, looks to be a, a decent crew assembled and uh, we're still at the casting stage for some of the other parts and uh, from what I've seen there's been some good actors so looking forward to working with them, whoever they may be, however uh, good looking they are, you know, uh, it's, a, it's a hard job but somebody's kind of got to do it so uh, <laughs> I'll put myself out there and, uh, and give it 110% so yeah, so bring it on. Good morning sir. Good morning Douglas, this is Inspector Rebecca Monroe, she's just transferred to our department. Pleased nice to meet you, Inspector Munro. Likewise. Now, um, what's going on in here? Oh, it's hard to say. I, I don't know if I even believe it myself. Try us, son. We've had plenty of stories. We've got the superintendent downstairs. He was at the club. He's our key witness. Sloan. Sloan. All right, Douglas. You stay here. Keep your press out. Make sure nobody gets in or out. Well, myself and uh, Munro go and speak to Sloan. Yes, sir. Douglas. 
Mountain tissue, does it? Yes, sir. Superintendent. Good evening. Evening, Douglas. This is Inspector Rebecca Munro. Just been transferred to my department. Pleased to meet you, Inspector Munro. Likewise. Now, uh, what's going on in here? It's hard to say. I'm not sure I believe it myself. Well, try me, son. I've heard a lot of stories. We've got a DCI downstairs. He was at the club. He's our key witness. Mullen. OK, you stay out here. Me and Rebecca are going inside to talk to Mullen. No one gets in or out that building. And for God's sake, keep the press out. Yes, sir. Rebecca. I know you're there. Just leave me alone and I won't call the police. I'm not here to hurt you. I bet all stalkers say that. I'm being serious. You're in danger. From you, yes. Thanks for pointing out the obvious. It's hard to explain. Just leave me alone. I know you're there. Just leave me alone and I won't call the police. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm sure all soccer say that. I'm being serious. You're in danger. Aye, from you. Thanks for pointing out the obvious. Look, it's hard to explain. Just leave me alone. 